The International Aeroid Society annual meeting took place at Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden this past week, and folks were out in full force, wearing their plants, carrying their plants, and everything in between. The conference in Plantsdale was much larger since I was there last, and there were quite a range of plants and vendors from all over the world. Okay, we are here at the Aroid Show, and you can see that this has exploded. <laughs> I remember when things were indoors, now everything is outdoors. Luckily, we have good weather here. Bye. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you doing today? Very no, it's good. all good. Uh, we have a lot of big totem, so like larger leaf, you know, kind of opened up. Stuff. And a little bit for everybody. Where Where do you grow? Where do you do most of your growing? We grow actually locally out of Redland. Okay. Cool. What are some of your favorites here? Why don't you, why don't you point out some of my favorites? Panada Neon is a really nice one with like the more mature form leaf. How much is this? This is the mint, right? This is yeah. A, this is uh, an Aria large Aria. form. Yeah. Uh, that one I have at 15. 15 yeah. How much are these? The little ones are 40s, and the big ones are 95. How are you? <laughs> oh my god, I'm watching our YouTube channel! I know, right? I mean, uh, alright, hold on everyone, no way to stop. Summer's here. Yeah! Hi guys! What do you think you're getting? A Hoya? Hoya, yeah. It looks slightly Oria like. Yeah. Slightly variegated. Yeah, variegated. Yeah. Very cool. Tell me what you got going on here. Is this your first show? Yes, this is our first show and we're stoked. Oh my god, what do you think? Oh, I mean, what do you think about it? Like being we in Florida? We think it's wonderful. I'm okay. from Florida. I always come to the show. I oh, always really? Where in Florida? I'm born and raised in Miami, Florida, and we oh. have a farm in Homestead. <laughs> okay, got it. So, yep. so you're you're used to this then. I'm used to the heat and yeah. this yeah, I yeah. love it. So when did you start Plant Proper? We started Plant Proper in 2018 and then COVID came and and all, we were off to the races. Yeah. <laughs> Most people would say COVID came, it wiped me off the map. But then with plants, it, people were like, it put me on the map. It did certainly put us on the map very quickly. And um, timing was everything. Come yeah. on, let's party. Come on, come on in. I'm hanging. Come on in. <laughs> we're, learning, we're learning about Plant Proper's genesis. And yes. So what are some of the plants that you specialize in? We love philodendrons. Uh, currently in 2023, we're focusing a lot on Hoyas. We're Hoya heavy. Show me some stuff. Show me some Yeah, Hoya come heavy. on in. Let's take a walk, guys. So over here, we have a little Hoya section. Ah, um, look at that. We just started importing a lot of Hoyas, which is fun and nerve-wracking all at the same time. <laughs> Uh, we love Syngoniums because they're very easy to grow and aggressive and they make me look good at my job. <laughs> um, and then we got some Thai constellations because everybody has Thai constellations now. Some Florida ghosts, uh, a lot of philodendrons. And then we started this cute little two inch program where we just plant the node of the plant mm -hmm. and we let it root because if you dig in here, we just plant this little node here yep. and then we just let a new plant pop out and it's off to the races. We let yeah, everybody nice. just kind of grow it out themselves. Nice. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, these are really nice. The caudata, caudatas are really yeah, pretty. Yeah, fuzzy nice, flower like, This is, is awesome. a really nice tight leaf too. Definitely, it's like prehistoric. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's a that's that's a cool Hoya. We yeah, Hoyas are fun. Yeah, they are fun. They're fun. They're scary. No, they're not. <laughs> well, they kind of tend to wrap around everything, they, and then and then when you try to pull them off the shelf, they pull everything else down. I've gotten to be very good at unknotting yeah. things. Yeah. yeah. My daughter is really impressed. Yeah. yeah Your daughter's definitely. probably like. Daddy, my necklace. Oh, I do that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I got this. Trust got me, this. I've been with Hoyas all day. So we are Nirvana Tropicals from Houston, Texas, and we're introducing our new hybrid that we did. It, we cross-pollinated a Texas Jose Bruno with red emerald. What's a Texas Jose oh, Bruno? It is, the, you'll see it in the past, that it's a no ID. Saying, okay, yes, okay. the one he was showing you. So with that cross-pollination, we got 12 different varieties out of that cross-pollination. So if you could, these are all the hybrids that came out of that cross-pollination. Wow, okay, so you selected these from the, all the babies. All the babies, so yeah. we have red stem, green mm -hmm. stem, see leaves that have a little lining of red mm -hmm. on the edge. There's this there's variegation here yeah, and then like this one is amazing oh, almost yeah. like it, it almost looks like a painted lady uh, or but an orange, larger or orange marmalade yeah, but yeah. longer so yeah. so it's just we just wanted to introduce this first time here awesome yes definitely at the show so well that is great i mean everybody could have yeah, a little oh, piece of your hybrid yes like i say we're just releasing it here so you know we want everybody to have a little bit of texas with them so <laughs> fantastic well thank you phenomenal What do you got to show me? Uh, this is uh, Epipremum mum gigantium is a native species to Thailand. They have many versions of variegation. This is uh, they call mint, white mint variegated. This is they call copper variegated. Wow. This is also marble variegated. That's pretty, it's the, the marble, yeah. It's the Thai species. Mm -hmm. And we have the alvo also, wow. but it's burned, it's too hot here. Yeah. So we have different type of variegation of the Epipremum gigantium from Thailand. So this is the, the highlight from my boat. And uh, if you have time, you can go to see me at Bangkok International Exotic Plant Show and Sale in October 5, 6, 7, 8. This, in these two weeks, okay. Because home is doing plant shows left and right in Thailand, so and he does he does he does them right. They, he does them large and in charge. Thank you, home. That okay, is fantastic. Thank you. All right, so this is the whole second section. We got some four rows here at the show. We just had a little rain, so I put my camera away, but people are still purchasing. Let's go see what we have down this row. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah. So we brought a lot of Ethereum collections here. We got some cool species, some cool hybrids, and some other terra uh, terrarium plants. Yeah. Yeah, some ferns. Those are my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's really nice meeting you. Thank you. I love it.
night of the conference right before the plant auction, which I'll be publishing later on this channel if you missed that evening's festivities. That's the recap from the IAS show. Stay tuned here because we'll have more coming around the bend.